Okay, now this is continuing on from my WrestleMania 26 review, so if you haven't watched that, watch, watch it first before this. Okay, I'll leave a link up. I don't know when I'm going to upload this. Hopefully, it will be the same time, but it might not be. So, watch that first. But yeah, Shawn Michaels vs Undertaker, they had a hell of a match. Definitely better than last year's, I thought. Even though last year's was wicked, I thought it was slightly overrated. Um, but, you know, this match is was classic, I thought. It was great. They just like totally went at it. Undertaker really stepped up his game. I thought like the past few months or whatever, he was a bit like, you know, slow. He obviously has a hip injury and that was accentuated a bit in this match as well when he came off the top for his um, old school, shall I call it, for sake. But yeah, um, just awesome. I already talked about the match in the other video, but... Yeah, I'm going to talk about the ending and a bit of what it means to me, like this outcome. So, um, Sean lost, and he lost in dramatic fashion, dramatic style, and it took my breath away, totally. Just that whole last few minutes of that, from like the tombstone where he kicked out, to where Undertaker like shows remorse, um... I was just like, oh, shivers. I had, like, shivers down my body from that moment till the end of WrestleMania, where, like, Sean's in the ring and the fans are thanking him, giving him a big ovation, much similar to what it was like when Ric Flair lost to Sean a few years back. And to me, Sean Michaels looked like a man that was, like, happy with, that is happy with what he'd done there. And what he's laid out in WWE since he's come back. And he looked like a man contented. And like he can now get on with his life and his family and stuff. And I just felt really a mixture of like happiness for him. And also kind of sad if this is the last time we will see him in the ring. It is kind of sad because I think he's still definitely got like some awesome matches that he could pull out still. Um, but who knows? I think if that really is his last match, then that was like, how can he? It's, I'm speechless. How can that be like? That can't really be a bad thing is what I'm trying to say. Right, that is that is a hell of a match to go out on if he's going out on that. So to all the Shawn Michaels fans that are like crying, don't be sad for him. I'm sure Shawn is happy and content with how his life, where his life's heading. I think like he just put in some amazing work with Undertaker, and you know there's the possibility that he will be back for more. And I could all I before this match, I was pretty sure that if he was going to lose, that he'll either be back later this year or maybe for next WrestleMania. But now maybe I'm not so sure, considering how epic that was, that ending, the whole like send off with him like getting that huge standing ovation, and Undertaker shaking his hand, and like pretty much breaking character. If you, if you think about it. And yeah. That was just something else really. That was amazing. Um, hopefully on Raw tonight. Um, he will have like a big kind of homage. There will be a big homage to Shawn Michaels career. Um, as far as where I stand with Shawn Michaels. And Undertaker. They've always been like within my top 5 or 10 wrestlers. No, they've been there like literally from when I started watching WWF in the early 90s. And um, during the 90s, I wasn't really into Shawn Michaels' character, you know, as this dancing, like, cocky stripper. Sure, I did find some of the stuff he did in DX funny, but when I think about it, I was like 14 or 15 then, so I would find that juvenile stuff funny. But, um, yeah. 
I have to say, since he's come back, he was been on such top form and I, I respect him hell of a lot as a wrestler you know I've heard like a lot of bad shit about him from like other wrestlers in interviews and stuff but you know I don't know the person I'm just like thankful that I've got to see so many great matches out of him in the ring um you know I'm gonna miss him I'm gonna miss seeing matches with him in if this is his last one well, something I was also thinking is that he could really come back for next year's WrestleMania and still be like, I want to beat you, Undertaker. I don't know if that would be like flogging a dead horse, but maybe that could be Undertaker's retirement match. Because, to be honest, after this, I don't see Undertaker like doing much else. I'm sure he's going to have a big break after this. Um... He may well like retire at Survivor Series, keep it like a full 20 years, if Survivor Series is going, that is. But yeah, God, that was a hell of a match. And um, thankful to see Shawn Michaels wrestle like he has been for years. And um, hopefully it won't be the last time we'll see him in the ring. But if that is the case, that's a hell of a way to go out. And Shawn Michaels fans should be happy for that. I'm happy for the man himself. And yeah, just awesomeness. Any wrestling fan should watch that match for sure. So that's just some like additional thoughts on the outcome of the Shawn Michaels Taker match. Um, watch my WrestleMania review video and leave your thoughts on it. Thank you.